Holy cow. Some days I feel like it's impossible for me to find time to get in front of this camera. But I'm here, and I'm gonna be here until we finish today's broadcast of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. If you were here during our last live stream, you'll remember that we are now on Mass Effect 2. That's right, we completed Mass Effect 1 a few weeks ago. We started Mass Effect 2 a few weeks ago. And uh, we're, we just finished exploring the Normandy 2 a few weeks ago. So uh, lots of really fun, exciting things about to unfold in the plot today. Cheers. Ah, nothing like a pint of coffee in the morning, and it is still morning. Yes, we have four minutes left in the morning, so <laughs> don't call me a late riser, no sir. Minutes left. All right, so we're live on Facebook. Good to see Matthew, Alan, Ryan, Quincy, Alex, Kurt, Joel, Joe on uh, Facebook today, and let's get on over to YouTube and see if we've got the chat, and we do. Yep. Let's pop that chat out so that we can put it side by side with our Facebook chat. Make it uh, easier to see everybody's wonderful comments today. And it's great to see all of the regulars and members and Patreon subscribers in the chat today. Matt Rowland, Sean Fernando with the Gold Derby, Jamie Armstrong with the Gold Derby, Bingo Bill, the man from Vault 69, Jocelyn Ryan, Edward C, Ethan H with the Gold Derby, Salati Bartfast with the Gold Derby, Weird Beard with the Gold Derby, Davils Available, Courtney Zayas, Deuteronomus, and Jamie Armstrong both with Gold Derbies, Quinn Tyers with the Gold Derby, Moody Exorcist, Jenny Dahl Weber, NB Mo Minor, The Unknown Planet, Daniel Holmes, Kakashi Hataki, and Douglas Delagard with the first super chat of the day. Says hello Oxhorn and all you wonderful people in chat. Hello Douglas, it's always great when you stop by the broadcast. You're always so upbeat and cheerful. Good to see you, my friend. JTS79 says lawnmower simulator stream and subsequent lore series when? After the Minesweeper stream. Don't worry happen. Ethan H. says, last time you played, I remember you said you wouldn't read the squad dossiers on your computer until you recruited them, but those go away when you do that, just so you know. So excited for today. Really? Okay, well, I guess I've got a lot of reading ahead of me. Thank you, Ethan. Jocelyn Ryan on Facebook today says, Happy Monday, Ankh's been a Monday here too. <laughs> it's a Monday, what do you expect? We're gonna un-Monday the Monday a bit with a little Mass Effect. Hopefully that will de mondayize our Monday today. Make it less monday horrific. Austin Overegg with a donation of stars on Facebook. Thank you, Austin. And then he says, the, um, the last follow-up video was awesome. Thank you, Oxford, you're welcome. Published an hour-long video on DuPont Circle. I think it was an hour and 20 minutes long. Holy cow, there is so much in DuPont Circle. But we got it all. We got all of the lore. We got all of the loot. We found every location. Killed every enemy in DuPont Circle before making a decision to finally move on to Chevy Chase. And so we'll be tackling Chevy Chase and the connecting... Metro stations, I believe the Tenley and Friendship Metro stations are the ones that we'll be tackling uh, in our video on Chevy Chase this weekend. And that video also, even though Chevy Chase is a lot smaller than DuPont Circle, will be about an hour long. So lots to look forward to this weekend. Thank you for watching. Zach Little says, looking forward to you meeting Morden. He is one of my favorite characters in video games. I suspect you'll take a shine to him in short order. Thank you, Zach. I can't wait to meet him. Pavel says, uh, sorry for Friday, Ox. I was meant to provide you with Fallout experience in form you could share with your son, but forgot 
to take your and his preference into account. No more demands, do as you wish. No worries, Pavel, I, I totally understand. It can be, it can be exciting to be on the other end of the screen and to have this wonderful idea and want to share it with somebody and you're passionate about a topic and you don't know if someone else is passionate about it, but you, you want to share your passion. I understand, it's totally cool. Uh, and you know, if I ever happen to see the Fallout board game, if I stumble upon it, if it's convenient, I'll definitely get a copy of it. And uh, it'll be, it'll all be thanks to you, Pavel. Thank you. Douglas Delagarde says, I feel bad you could, uh, you get pressured to do stuff because, uh, Douglas, don't worry. <laughs> I understand, Douglas, and I, I appreciate it, but you know what? We get through it at the end of the day. Part of the job, and I don't mind. Brian Sanchez says, unfortunately, this will be my last super chat for a while. Ran into some family problems and have to cut back spending, but not to worry, I'll be a member. Brian, thank you for the enormous amount of time that you have spent donating to my broadcasts and being a mod on my broadcasts. You are like an uber member of this community. You're awesome, Brian. We love you. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Put you and your family first. Do what you got to do. I'll be here. I'll always be here. And when you're ready to contribute again, I'll take your money. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brian. Cape Mirez says, Hey, Ox, perhaps it's tiresome to get so many game requests, but since you've played a sundry of Remedy games and seem to have greatly enjoyed them, have you ever considered playing Quantum Break? <clears throat> yes. In fact, I purchased and played and completed Quantum Break on my own. I didn't stream it. Um, I liked it. I liked Quantum Break. It was a little clunky compared to Control. Now, it was an older game. Uh, however, I, I remember when I started Quantum Break, I thought the controls were really clunky. But as I finished Quantum Break, I, I felt like I, I finally got a hold of it. I was able to play it just as the game was ending. As for the ending of the game, I don't want to get into spoilers, but man, I don't know if I can get... For the ending we got, I don't know. The ending had left more to be desired in my uh, personal opinion. But yeah, it was an interesting game, especially, you know, any game that deals with time travel to a certain extent. It was heart-wrenching at times. Uh, and we saw some familiar characters from uh, Control. So yeah, maybe someday. Julian Z says, Hi Ox, I'm here with my golf derby. Hope you're doing well. Can't wait to finally return to Mass Effect 2. Can't wait until I get to, uh, to Planet Inter... Can't wait. I gotta read this correctly. Can't wait until you get to Planet Interface with your thoughts. Spelled T-H-O-T-S. Planet Interface with your thoughts. I, I will happily interface with as many thoughts as possible. It is, after all, Mass Effect. Alt Master says, Hey, Oxhorton, I wanted to apologize because I gave you false information. You can use Metagel to heal yourself. I said you couldn't, and I apologize. You were trying to heal when your barrier was still up. That's why it didn't work. Ow! Oh, in, in Mass Effect 1, you can't heal when your barrier is up? I didn't realize that. Well, now I know. Now that I've completed the game and moving on. <laughs> Thank you. Altmaster. And then Amber Rose says, It's my birthday, so it's not too much of a Monday for me. Happy birthday to you, Amber Rose. And thank you for stopping by to celebrate it with us. Douglas Delagarde says, Happiest of birthdays to Amber Rose. Happy birthday to Amber Rose. Oblivion RX says, Love how lore-focused you are. Mass Effect is only my second favorite series and is only beat by the Kingdom Hearts series. Well, um, I want to understand the universe that I'm about to explore. And so I want to make sure that I read... I mean, that's the way I, I typically play a game, even when I'm on my own. I, I go through all of the lore and I read everything. I know that there are many players that just go by and skip it. And I used to be that because I, I wanted to get back into the action. But now I, I come to the point where I want to better appreciate the world my character's supposed to be in. And so I read everything. And that's why I read everything for all of you. 
Nixter says, I am conquering the galaxy in Stellaris while listening to this in the background. It's a very nice Monday. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Nixter. I hope you do as well. Anna Pitzer says, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is set in Seattle. Hopefully you'll consider playing it if it ever makes it out of development limbo. Maybe. I mean, there aren't very many vampire games that I think I could get into. I did get into Vampire with a Y. Um, because it didn't feel like a traditional vampire game to me. I didn't get very many Twilight vibes from that game. I didn't get very many Interview with a Vampire vibes from that game. Um, there weren't a bunch of sexy vampires. Like, the vampires were scary. Vampires are supposed to be scary, not sexy. So I don't know if I could play a vampire game where all the vampires are sexy. But maybe, maybe that's just me. Austin on uh, Facebook with a donation of stars. Thank you, Austin. Then Rockland F says, uh, Good morning, Ox Shep. Shouts to Jocelyn Slanty Bartfest. Grant S. Hyped for the gold toilets. Pyro is the man. Yeah, I'll have to show those off when I get there. Whatever Tube says, Your last Metro vid was cracking me up. You said the word pissed like twice. <laughs> Lol, I love the vids. God bless. And as always, play on, sir. Thank you. I did say the word pissed twice. That's how pissed I was. It happened to loot all those mines in DuPont Circle. And by the way, you know what pissed me off even more than the mines in DuPont Circle? Was everybody in the comments section afterwards saying, Ox, you idiot! Don't you know you can target mines and vats? No! You can't target mines and vats in Fallout 3! And it's like there were so many people. It was like everybody, the entire top half of the comment section. Here I am struggling in DuPont Circle trying to find these mines hidden. And I want a little bit of empathy. I want the audience to connect with me. Oh, poor Oxhorn. He lost a leg to a landmine. But what do they do? They pile on. Target the mines and vax, Oxhorn. You're stupid. And you can't target mines in vats in Fallout 3. You're thinking of Fallout 4. You can target mines and vats in Fallout 4, not Fallout 3, the game I was playing, chat. So yeah, at the beginning of my next Fallout 3 episode, I'm gonna have to just, you know, give the chat a little something. <laughs> Jillian Z says, sorry Oxlol, I meant I'm here with my gold derby and I wanted your thoughts, I had to shorten, on the planet. <laughs> Here I thought you were talking, you were getting all saucy. You were talking about some sci-fi planetary thoughts that I was going to interface with. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, well, we'll we'll interface with planetary thoughts in Mass Effect, sure. But thoughts, T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S, right. Uh, I wanted your thoughts, he says, on the planet inter interface <laughs> slash exploration as it's very different. All right, you want my thoughts on a planetary interface, not how I'm going to interface with planetary thoughts. Got you. A common mistake. Uh, <laughs> well, Julian, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll give you more of a commentary on that. When we dive back into the game, get onto the Norman, the Normandy 2, and take a look at that interface, because I haven't actually tackled that yet. Terry Williams says, if you find Vampire the Masquerade no Nosferatu sexy, well, no kink shaming. All right, is it is it not a sexy vampire game? I, I might be able to get into it if the vampires are like monsters and scary. If they're sexy. Jocelyn Ryan says, mines are a terrible thing to waste, Ox. Don't want to waste those frag mines. Wasted on a limb instead. Sean McElroy says Vampire the Masquerade has all vamp types. Big and angry, businessmen, insane, magic, seductive. It was originally a tabletop game. Good stuff. All right. John says Ox, you should have targeted the mines with vats. Thank you, John. Sean says, lol, Ox, we're going to need to know your philosophy on interfacing with planetary thoughts. Well, I think we should just move on from here. <laughs> All right. Right, right, right.
J Julian Z says, I mean, if you want to interface with thoughts, that's okay too. Well, I'm glad I have your approval, my friend. I'm sure we'll be interfacing with lots of thoughts. Okay, so. We talked to everybody. Crew quarters, engineering. Uh, combat information. I guess this is what we're going to use to go find the next place. Okay, journal. Oh my gosh, look at all of the, those quests. Missions and assignments. T6 FBA couplings to make their maintenance work easier. Overlord. Oh my god. All right, there was one, let's see, do we do we go back to the Citadel first or do we start on one of these? Master Thief, the Veteran, the Council. While they were never completely supportive before, it may still be worth contacting the Council and informing them of recent events. The Professor, the Warlord, the Archangel, and the Convict. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's start with the Council. Go to the Citadel. It'll be good to see the Citadel again in Fallout, or I'm sorry, in Mass Effect 2. Oh. Whoa! Oh, this is way different. Oh, whoa! All right, so we've got recruit Arch Archangel, recruit the pro professor, and recruit the veteran here. Oh, so I can't move. All right, well, the Citadel's over here, right? If the map is the same as it is in Mass Effect 1. Matala? We must purchase more fuel or use a mass relay, Shepard. Oh, we're in a solar system right now. I should probably take care of everything in this system. Sar Sarabarek. Broker S3 says, just a reminder to everyone, Mass Effect 2 is a lot more impactful if played truly blind. Guiding Ox to get the perfect ending is going to take away from what makes Mass Effect 2 great. He's right. I appreciate everyone's enthusiasm, but I do want to keep spoilers to a minimum. Broker S3 says also certain story triggers are not supposed to be known. They're designed to add player urgency. Well, if fuel is a problem, maybe I should... Alright. Let's just go to the Citadel. Local cluster. Serpent Nebula. Citadel and the Master Thief. Supposedly constructed by the long-extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through ro rotation, 
and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Well, we learned at the very end of the last game that uh, it may not have been constructed by the Protheans. And in fact, likely wasn't. Right, chat told me to cycle her appearance. They liked her her original outfit first. All right, so putting her back to her original outfit. <clears throat> Garrick Anderson says, use the fuel depot for fuel and probe purchases. Thank you, Garrick. Terry Williams says, don't forget to probe Uranus at the local cluster. Thank you, Terry. I'll make sure to uh, note that. Okay, uh, what's what's this now? Squad points. I've got two to spend. Assault Mastery. Now, I, I want to be able to unlock pull. And I want to be able to unlock cryo ammo. I've got three in charge. Well. We'll save points then, I guess. She's got eight points to spend, holy cow. Uh, Cerberus Officer hones Miranda's combat skills, weapon damage, and health. Entire squad receives a combat bonus. Nice. Uh, she is a biotic, apparently. Massive energy blasts, overpower shields, and synthetic enemies. And then warp. And then there's slam. Locked. Squad member is not loyal. A biotic body slam that inflicts massive damage. I have to unlock her loyalty? Interesting. Barrier. Locked. Squad member is not loyal. Okay. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Wow. Be alert, be safe. Is that the remastered face of this person? Thanks for your time. Next. with collectors, try Kasumi's credit services. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. 
every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38-kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the City Buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant <laughs> jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I love it. That's great. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Who's saying that? Is it that? Uh, Daniel Holmes okay, says. Really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? Daniel Holmes says, hello, Ox, you have inspired me to tackle streaming. You have any tips or words of wisdom? Ah, uh, persistence is key, just keep on showing up. That's really the only major key to it. Edward C says, please use this money on R&D for the forthcoming Oxhorn Body Pillow. Yeah. Tell you what, you keep donating uh, for R&D and I'll make sure that the R&D for the Oxhorn Body Pillow, it, it goes on. It's prolonged R&D. Because, you know, we just got to get it right. So we'll be doing the R&D for years. Really. Garrick Anderson says, well, I got to head off to work, but uh, good luck on this playthrough. Thank you, my friend. Good luck at work. Can I talk to these guys? No. Got a bunch of cars over here. Cool. Rapid transit. Oh. Hey. Normandy requests new squad member. Right, I can't Shepherd. go... You do have the password, right? These guys are still Commander here? Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Will you shut up? God! Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Ah. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me. So I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission. And were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Ooh. We're gonna break into a casino? What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack. 
but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Okay, well, that was easy. We've got our thief. Travel to Birkenstein to attend the party of a notorious gray boxes. Oh, we just got a ton of codex entries. Okay, codex time. The Master Thief Kasumi's Secrets. Ray boxes. A mnemonic neural recall stimulator, also known as a gray box, is a device implanted in the brain to assist in prioritized memory. Originally developed to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease, gray boxes function by helping the amygdalae chunk incoming stimuli into recognizable pieces for memory consolidation. Each memory is assigned a shape or sensation from some other memory, tying the concepts together into a block that is more easily recalled. When synthetic insights first released them onto the market in 2140, gray boxes were hailed as a way humans could level the playing field between themselves and the Salarians, whose natural eidetic memories gave them an advantage. However, because the implant procedure of a gray box requires the brain to irreversibly shift its workload over to the machine, software bugs or attempted removal of the gray box for maintenance purposes could lead to incapacitating brain damage. For this reason, gray boxes soon became used only by those with a dire need for photographic memories, such as researchers and spies. In 2175, sale and implantation of gray boxes were outlawed by the Systems Alliance following an incident with Abraham Rumoy, an employee of the Alliance Intelligence Agency. Rumoy was believed to be a professional con man and thief named Keiji Okuda, who accessed and sold classified data. However, prosecuting attorneys were unable to use his assisted memories as evidence due to the Alliance Court System's prohibitions against self-incrimination based on the Fifth Amendment Amendment of the old U.S. Constitution. Rumoy soon disappeared off the map following his trial, further heightening suspicions that he was Okuda and living off of ill-gotten gains. Ox, the holograms is NB Mole Miner. Thank you, Ox, I found it. Sir Commissar says, be careful and make sure to back up your saves. Was at the end of three on Insanity and got on the next game and 109 hours of game time gone. Vanished. That's awful, Sir Commissar. I'll be sure to back up my saves. Man of Warp says, okay, Kasumi, go back to Acadia. Good to see another Kasumi in the, in the game, in the game. Ethan H says, unfortunately, DLC characters like Kasumi get thrown at you right away. No recruitment missions this game is so good for. Oh, she's a DLC character. Oh, so maybe I should wait to recruit her later. Or do her stuff first. I don't know. Next, Planet Birkenstein. More glittering than diamonds, more expensive than surgery, is how travel agents describe this, planet's behind, this planet behind closed doors. Given the opportunity to colonize planets after the first contact warp, the Systems Alliance chose Birkenstein to be their trading arm. 
producing goods to be sold on the nearby Citadel. Cracking the vast galactic marketplace proved difficult. The first human products sold on novelty alone, then lack of it demand, or lack of demand, hit Birkenstein's economy hard. Only in the second generation of colonists did the planet find a sustainable niche in high quality entertainment and luxury goods. Once brand awareness sunk in, aliens flocked to Birkenstein's many spaceports. The planet today boasts more millionaires and billionaires per capita than any other human colony. Though its crime tends to be white color and nonviolent, Birkenstein is not without its dark side. Both its suicide rate and inflation are extremely high compared to other worlds. Unemployment is artificially low because few people immigrate to the expensive planet without having a job lined up, and the cost of living is so great that unemployment workers or unemployed workers typically leave for kinder planets after just a few months. Those who stay see themselves as tougher, sharper, and more skillful than the rest, as well as capable of getting respect and employment on any lesser planet. As a popular song says, if you can make it on the back, you got them by the neck. Wolf Hall with a uh, uh, sticker tip, thank you very much. I think that was probably a Sinatra reference. Okay, that's everything new. All right, new quest. Kasumi stealing money, travel to Birkenstein. Well, we're gonna continue with Citadel. Go to the Citadel for now. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn! Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Okay. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Wow. Torture. Great. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? <laughs> Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Okay, guy, I get it. You're a rebel. You go under the, the red tape every now and then. Man of Warp says Doc Mitchell. Oh, my God. You're right. That's Doc Mitchell's voice actor. Holy cow. 
I didn't recognize it at first. MeWe says Commander Bailey is voiced by Michael Hogan, who uh, voiced Doc Holliday in Fallout New Vegas. Oh, really? Pretty cool. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. I see you're finally awake. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Oh my gosh, it's Anyway, face. something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It's like they... It's like they took great care to make sure that all of the companions and um, team members had really great faces in the remaster of Mass Effect 2. But so far, we've met two random NPCs and they've got, like, butter faces. They're just hewn from a block of butter. How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined C-Sec so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Eh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with C-Sec, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. Tito Guzman says, Hey, Ox, love the channel on Fallout vids. Awesome, you're playing Mass Effect. Hope you like Thane as much as me. Any suggestions for my first cigar? Yeah, get something that is hand-rolled and that's expensive. Don't get it at a gas station. Go to a cigar shop. Look at the middle shelf. Don't, go, don't look at the bottom shelves. Look at the middle shelves. It's got to be at least like... 13 or 15 dollars. It's your first cigar, you want something good. Get a medium colored wrapper like this, uh, or a light colored wrapper. You don't want a dark one, the dark ones will knock you off your feet. They're really, really intense. Even these are a bit intense. If it's your first cigar, maybe go for a lighter colored one with a bit of a Connecticut leaf wrapper. Probably going to be your best bet. But you want something hand-rolled and made from actual leaves, not a bunch of chopped up tobacco confetti. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Okay, well, let's take a look at the map of the new Citadel. Whoa, overwhelming! Ah, ah, uh, what? Okay, Rapid Transit, CSEC Captain Bailey, Zakara Cafe, oh my god. I don't know if I like that new map. It, it's kind of confusing. Interrogation room, access denied. Oh. Can't talk to him. Oh, it's Avina. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. I need to talk to the Council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the c security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. 
I have no information on a Reaper. What? References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. Wow. Even after everything she that Shepard was right about, they're still not identifying the real threat. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. Oh, God. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Let's go check it out. Starship models. I could get into Starship models. Uh, Zakara Cafe. Dark Star. Well, let's go to the cafe first, see what's going on here. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Pride in his work. Oh, food. Various quality cuisine items used to prepare diplomatic dinners aboard starships. High grade provisions. Ascension novel. Written by human author Drew uh, Karpishin, the popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives wrapped or warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Credit, credits required five revelations novel. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Karpishin that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. We can buy these. Each of them are $5. But wait a minute. High-grade provisions. Don't I need to get champagne for somebody? Various quality cuisine items used to prepare diplomatic dinners above aboard starships. It's only 500. Yes. All right, cool. Let's get the novel. All right. Journal updated, deliver ingredients. Oh, that's right, the cook. The cook, I needed to bring the cook some ingredients. Ah, great. Hey, I'm, I'm making way on my... All right, we got, we got a codex upgrade here. Terry Williams says, if you had sacrificed the council on Mass Effect 1, Avina would have given you a human-specific warning about violence against humans. Oh, fascinating. All right, well, let's read the publications. Am I going to be sitting here reading for an age? Let's see. Oh, no, it's not too long. Here we go. Ascension. <clears throat> Written by human author Drew Karpishin, the popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed. Okay, so we read the beginning, but not the rest of it. Warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Following the Citadel attack in 2182 and the accelerated rise of human influence in the galaxy, Cerberus instituted Ascension, a secret biotics program aimed at producing a superhuman warrior. Biotics prodigy Jillian Grayson, a 12-year-old autistic girl, suffered for the sins of her father, a secret Cerberus operative and red sand addict. Paul Grayson was ensnared in a web of criminality involving a quarry and traitor and extending to Saren Arterius, a, the Geth, and a terminal threat to the Quarian flotilla. Having fled to the Terminus system with his daughter after exposure of Cerberus' link to Ascension, Grayson was pursued by Jillian's teacher, scientist Kaylee Sanders, initiating a chain of tragedies that demonstrated Cerberus' nearly unlimited power and boundless ambition. All right, a little bit of fiction. Now we've got Revelation. Man of Warb says Revelation and Ascension are actual tie-in novels to this game, and Drew Karpishin is a writer for this game. Oh, you're kidding, really? Oh, so these are real novels. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Karpishin that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. In 2165, years before his rise to political prominence, Lieutenant David Anderson was a young veteran of the Turian War, investigating the destruction of top-secret military research station Shangxi. 
every scientist stationed at Shanxi had been slaughtered except Kaylee Sanders, who disappeared with secret files making her Anderson's prime suspect. The book traced Anderson's dangerous investigations of Sanders, which included run-ins with Blue Suns mercenaries and a Krogan bounty hunter. The investigation uncovered illegal research into artificial intelligence and forced Anderson into an alliance with human-hating Turian specter Saren Arterius, who would eventually enter into a genocidal collaboration with the Geth. Julian Z says, Ox, if you buy Starship models they display in your room, I've got money to burn, saved up from Mass Effect 1, and I gotta show off those gold toilets. Solar electronics. Is this a door? Galactic news. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council Whoa. members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Okay, visit the Dark Star located on, on level 28. We're on level 27. Um, before we go down to 28. Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun, but do you have the career skills to deploy and manage today's high-tech network infrastructures? The Henley Technical Institute can help. Courses available through our extranet site will put you on the path to success. Visit our site now. I mean, I am already a Spectre, so probably don't need to take any classes. All right, let's see what's over here. We got some I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. I should kill them all. I just got a quest update. Ask about the fish. What? Oh, here we go. Citadel Krogan Sushi. Kargesh, a Krogan on level 27 of the Zakara Ward Market, would like to taste fish from the lakes of the Presidium. Hey, Citadel Souvenirs! Let's get some spaceships. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former specter. My goodness, I didn't know specters quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. All right, plus five to Paragon. I'm going to hear that all over, all over the place, aren't I? <laughs> Mr. Wilson says, pretty sure that was Bioware predicting targeted advertising years before it was prevalent. I mean, you're probably right. Okay, we've got a space hamster. This small furry rodent looks up at you with what seems like a knowing smile. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the space hamster. Ilum scald, Ilium scald fish. Large spined fish common to the lakes of Ilium. Model Normandy SR1, a small ship model of the System Alliance ship Normandy SR1. 
model Destiny Ascension, a small ship model of the Asari Dreadnought made famous for saving the Citadel Council at the Battle of the Citadel. All right. Well, we got a hamster. So do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. All right, well, we just got a bunch of uh, codex upgrades. Again, ships and vehicles. Starships, dreadnoughts. The ultimate arbiter of space warfare, the dreadnought, employs millions of tons of metal, ceramic, and polymer in the projection of firepower against enemy vessels of like ability. No sane commander would face a dreadnought without a dreadnought of his or her own. A dreadnought's power lies in the length of its main gun. Dreadnoughts range from 800 meters to one kilometer long with main guns of commensurate length. An 800 meter mass accelerator is capable of accelerating one 20 kg slug uh, to a velocity of four, uh, 40, 25 kilometers per second. That's 1.3% of light speed every two seconds. Each slug has the kinetic energy of 38 kilotons of TNT, enough to destroy the infrastructure of a mid-sized city and kill half a million people. Because of air friction, planets with atmospheres do not feel a slug's full devastation. Atmospheric drag reduces impact force by 20% per Earth atmosphere of air. At present, the Turian fleet possesses 39 dreadnoughts, the Asari 20, and the Solarians 16. Each of the Human Alliance's eight dreadnoughts is named for terrestrial mountains. Everest class, Everest, Fuji, and Elbrus. Kilimanjaro class, Kilimanjaro, Taishan, Shasta, Aconcaga, and Orizaba. John W. says, how do you like Mass Effect 2 as compared to Mass Effect 1? Uh, the transition is pretty seamless so far. Um, let me kind of get into the combat a little bit and I'll be able to give you a better comparison. Dragon fan says you literally have to feed the fish all the time. Oh no, really? I'm gonna kill the fish, aren't I? What if I fed the hamster to the fish? That's a big meal. Or what if I fed the fish to the hamster? Do I have to feed the hamster? Redbus says, oh no, Ox, you have to remember to feed your fish now or another animal will fall victim to you. Oh great, I wish I would have known that. Julian Z says, Ox, just so you know, you have to feed those fish or they will die until you find and buy the automatic feeding system. Their nourishments are your responsibility. What have I done? Weird Beard says, go see the council before exploring. Use the taxi. Getting Spectre status back first helps with a few smaller missions on the Citadel. Okay, thank you, Weird Beard. Starships, frigates, frigates are light escorts and scouts often possessing extensive guardian systems providing anti-fighter screening for capital ships and crewed with squad marines for security and groundside duty. Unlike larger vessels, frigates can land on planets. The most important role filled by frigates is reconnaissance. Sensors, unlike ships and communications employing a mass effect, are limited to the speed of light. Therefore, a stationary observer can detect a vessel a light year away only when its light arrives a year later. Because faster-than-light attackers always arrive before defenders can detect them with luminal sensors, attackers can always surprise defenders. For defense, fleets surround themselves with spheres of scouting frigates, scanning for enemy ships and transmitting warnings to the main body. Frigates achieve high faster than light cruise speeds because of their high performance drives. They also have proportionally larger thrusters and lighter design mass, allowing them greater maneuverability. In combat, speed and maneuverability make frigates immune to long range fire of larger vessels. In fleet combat, frigates are organized into wolf pack flotillas of four to six. Wolf packs speed through enemy formations, hunting enemy vessels whose kinetic barriers have been taken down by fighter-launched disruptor torpedoes. Wolf packs circle strafes vulnerable targets using superior speed and maneuverability to evade return fire. Alliance frigates are named for great battles in human history. 
Okay. That's it. Apex Omni Tools and Souvenirs. All right, before I head to a new level, uh, Chad is telling me to go to the Presidium first I and then. What Presidium fish would taste like. I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I hear an Erdnot. And then we'll go the explore. <laughs> an Erdnot on the Presidium. That'd be the best. All right, so we are on uh, Zakira level 27. That's why we can't go there. Let's go to the Presidium. Gondro Dim says, a little late, but glad I could make it. So when will we see us? Uh... This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Anyway, he says, a little late, but I'm glad I could make it. So when will I see a uh, Would You Like to Try Assisted Mode t-shirt for my Oxhorn t-shirt collected, says Gondoro Dem. Um, it's something I should do. I, I need to find the time to get some new designs done. But that's a great design idea. Man of Warb says, talk to Kelly Chambers after every mission. She'll eventually feed your fish for you. Is that the assistant? Great. I will. Thank you. Julian Z says, sorry, Ox. Auto feed, not in this game. Talk to Kelly. Okay, I'll talk to Kelly. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. How many times? Do they have to disbelieve what Shepard says, and then Shepard ends up being right before they finally get it into their thick skulls that Shepard might know what he's talking about? Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. Shut up! You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Holy cow, this guy just needs to get slapped. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Uh, Doctors Dino says politics. How tiresome. 
And I'm pretty sure I repeated that every time the council or Udina shows up, uh, showed up in the last game. Yeah. Well, the council just pisses me off. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson. This guy! We need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. <laughs> Good day to That's both of you. That's right! That's right! Sorry Let him know! That. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Good man. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. <laughs> How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Still making me feel nervous. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. It's okay, I can respect that. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Thank you, Three Dog. Forget Udina and the Council. 
Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just awesome. do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Right, well, it's not like I had a choice that kind of rose me from the dead. Man of Warp says, go sit in timeout, Udina, and think about what you've done. I know, I love it. Howdy, neighbor. Hi. Okay. of freedom's progress has generated a swift but confused response aid vessels have been sent but it is not clear whether there are survivors the council offered its sympathy but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter all right so that was the presidium okay well let's go back to level 27 and then explore the floors manually so that we can get a lay of the land where all of the how all of the floors connect and then when done, we'll go back to the Normandy and uh, feed our fish, I guess. Okay, let's try going down first. Dark Star. and former Alliance Parliament candidate has pled guilty to tax evasion. Ha! He is in custody pending sentencing. Glad I didn't get wrapped up with that guy in Mass Effect 1. Solar Electronics. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Ah. Sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Huh? You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. Got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a Quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. You spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. I've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. I traveled with a quarry I... who was on her. Wow. 
I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. But he bumped into her! You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Okay, we need to find the credit chit. Shipping warehouse. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Oh, where is this taking us? Oh, I can't even understand this map. It's way too bright. Okay, when so the Serta Foundation is just south of us. That's where he lost his chit. All right, let's go to the warehouse, see what's here. Doesn't appear to be anything here. Okay, let's go to the Serta Foundation, see if we can find the chit. And if not, I mean, part of me is thinking that, uh... Tupari, now available with dextro amino acids. There's the Serta Foundation. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Ah. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. I wonder. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. <laughs> it's a deal. Just speak into my console He's here. He's milking it! I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Every single store is going to become his favorite store on the Citadel. That's hilarious. Medgel capacity. All right, upgraded by one. That's 25,000. 
All modern combat armor incorporates a first aid interface microprocessors in this interface monitor vital functions and release small localized doses of Metagel to accelerate the healing process. Manually timed heavy doses of Metagel can be released in response to major trauma. However, the efficiency of this is dependent on proprietary medical software that cannot be copied and is prohibitively expensive. Cerberus has developed its own software and is actively working to improve its efficacy. 25,000, let's buy it. I'll take it. Life support webbing within a wearable framework, the CERNA Foundation developed an innovative net of microstimulants and metagel in order to increase the chances of survival for aid workers and military personnel working in a hostile environment. Increases health by 10%, 6,666. I'm gonna buy it. Sweet, go to the captain's quarters to view. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for a little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Cool. Well, we didn't find the chit, so. Saronis Applications. Welcome to Saronis Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Well, there it is. Oh, my God. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store <laughs> on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna piss off all the merchants on the Citadel because they're all gonna have something of me saying that that's my favorite store. Okay. All right. Uh, tech damage, Omni Tool upgrade, squad bonus, 10% tech power damage. Standard Omni Tools are calibrated with a wide neural input tolerance range so they can be used effectively by any race. By tuning the inputs of the Omni Tool to match the specific neural patterns of the user, responsiveness and power can be greatly increased. Once tuned in this manner, the Omni Tool is almost unusable by anyone but the wearer, and it must be constantly recalibrated to subtle neural shifts. 75,000 will buy it. This is valuable. Well, and that makes me unable to purchase the next one, Damage Protection Shield Upgrade. I probably should have got that instead. This comprehensive system upgrade offers improved protection for all squad members, regardless of team members' individual defensive strategies. And then the Archon Visor, it uh, uses an efficiency algorithm to balance processing power for biotic amps and omni tools. A heads up display and voice command software allows users to micromanage the systems, reducing the cooldown period between energy expenditures. Reduces the recharge time of your powers by 5%. Only 4,000. We can buy it. All right, so we've got something to save up for. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varana say was, pick up a module. The Shepard Scholarship has gone into 
effect, targeting low-income children on Earth, where the most famous human in the galaxy allegedly had a difficult childhood. The scholarships have allowed several dozen young men and women to leave gangs and join the military or enroll in school. Man of Warb says Archon Visor lets you use charge more often. All right. I'm thrilled by that. Okay, well, uh, oh. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Saranus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. And here I thought the Citadel was some sort of utopia. The recorded histories of all sapient species suggest that in every society, resources are not evenly split between members. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Ethan says, for your information, you can't use some of these upgrades you bought until you recruit Morden Solus. What can I get you? I'll have to bear that in mind. Okay, well... I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. You're a liar. I did... Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close his event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. All right, well, we saved her butt. That's good. And this appears to be a dead end. We could go down to the warehouse, but there's nothing there. We've been to all the shops. No other staircases on this level. So let's go back up. Man of Warb says, incorrect, bot upgrades can be used right away. Upgrades found during missions need to be researched. I see. Uh, chat is telling me I missed a Paragon opportunity. Oh. Oh well, sorry everybody. By the time I got out of dialogue, they had all gone, so. All right, let's go upstairs. Apex Omni Tools. An independent inquiry is investigating a group known as Cerberus in light of charges made by one Corporal Tombs and testimony by an apparent Cerberus scientist. A researcher known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. Oh, that's right. Admiral Kohoku. Almost forgot about him. Rodam Expeditions. 
What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. This guy's getting into it. <laughs> you see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Caleb says you really have to pay attention to dialogue in this game. Those actions happen randomly. Okay, I mean, I didn't realize that by not choosing a paragon option I, at the, when I see it that I miss out on it. For example, here we see a paragon option, but I can go through all of the other dialogue in this tree and then choose the paragon option last. I assumed the same was true in the last conversation, but apparently not. And also, I guess I'm not sure why missing a paragon option is that big of a deal. But maybe I'll figure it out as time goes on. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship, the personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche, a small, tight-knit community. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. <laughs> By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. That modesty! I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. But every other shop has that kind of endorsement. <laughs> oh, sniper rifle damage. 50,000. What? 50,000. Oh my god. Offhand ammo pack, I can afford this. A simple but popular modification developed by the Elkos Combine and favored among mercenary groups and military personnel on active assignment. Increases spare ammo capacity by 10%. percent we'll buy that. Aegis Vest. Casa Fabrications line of elite personal protection equipment includes a series of interlocking ceramic plates covered in a proprietary tungsten alloy weave for maximum stopping power. Increases health by 5%. We can go ahead and buy that. It's only 1,600. Ooh, 6,000. Caleb says Paragon actions are different from dialogue. They're GTE events. Brad Buss says, keep an eye on the bottom left and right of the screen for Paragon and Renegade quick time events during cutscenes and dialogue. Oh, I have no memory of that. I must have completely missed it. Terry Williams says, missing the QT events isn't a big deal, but it does add to the experience. Some of them are real standout moments. Okay, all right, I'll try to pay closer attention. Man of Warb says, this Turian shopkeeper is a lot more hostile if you let the council die. You can still force him to give you a discount. Well, thankfully, I didn't let him die. All right, the Incisor is one of a new wave of military and police sniper rifles designed to overlord... Oh, this is an actual weapon. Okay, I don't want to buy an actual weapon because I'm going to get weapons as they drop in the game. Sentry interface. This visor works with the Sentry system, a software application that optimizes an armor suit of micro-frame computer. When the Sentry system is running, the more power can be devoted... Uh, to shield management, increases shield strength by 5%, okay. And the Umbra Visor. 
next generation night visor device that assists targeting by detecting the focal point of the wearer's eyes and enhancing the image at that location. The visor helps direct a bionic power or shot from an omni tool exactly where the wearer is looking. Okay, we'll buy that. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. Matt Rowland says Ox, this game is vastly different for loot and weapons. Doesn't work the same way as Mass Effect 1. I would buy the weapons when you can. Okay, thank you, Matt. Terry Williams says the item drops aren't the same as the Mass Effect when you won't find nearly as many in the wild. Okay, thank you, Terry. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Okay, Dark Star Nightclub. Oh yeah, we get a dance! And I can do for you? I know that you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind, where's the restroom? Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the forts. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. Oh. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. I get that question. Those are reservoirs. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Okay. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Christopher Lowe says but weapons are only ever found in one place. Thank you, Christopher. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. <laughs> I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is green. Guaranteed to not be on your ass. Unless you're Dextrip DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Let's have another one. Here you are. Oh, Shepard found it, man! Anything else? Not done yet. <laughs> I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Oh, why stop at three? Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine vegetarian and uncut. Don't ask how I got it. All right. 
It's still green. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Down it goes. Anything else? Do it. <laughs> okay, for you, Do it. This is Krogan liquor, Rincon. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? I can handle it. Go oh, yeah. Put more of the stuff in the thing where it's stuck in. <laughs> you can't say no glass. Funeral, pal. All right, here we go. Down the hatch. Oh man, this is a good bartender. I love all the pageantry. I wake up in the bathroom. Mr. Andy Comradson says, Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I just got drunk and passed out. Can I use the stall? No. They're both looking at me like, What the hell are you doing, Shepard? They don't even say anything. Let's dance! Yeah! That's it! Come on, where's the shuffle? Mr. Wilson says they're talking about Paragon slash Renegade interrupts. It's a brief opportunity to interrupt dialogue when you see a red or blue mouse icon in the lower right corner of the screen. Occurs outside dialogue choices. All right, I'll pay closer attention. Story, Shepard. This lady again. Oh, okay. got time for the press, Shepard? Here we go. Kalisa been seen in El Jelani, Western the News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. You're bad, you're news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Dang it, I missed it! I saw it! The blinking mouse! It was... I had my... I was holding my cigar! Doggone it. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Bigger each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. 
Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the fifth fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Ooh, tell her Commander off. Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Well, okay, now I know what it looks like. But it was blinking red, not blue. Would I have been able to do it? If it was blinking red, doesn't that mean that it's a renegade option, not a paragon option? Can I, should I do both of them? Or should I only do paragon? Well, great, this means that I can't smoke a cigar during dialogue scenes, because I never know when a quick time event is gonna pop up. Okay, this is level 28. Caleb says the renegade prompts are violent. Unoriginal name says even if you're doing a Paragon Chef, you can still do renegade interrupts. Okay, so I can still do it even if it's red? All right, thank you, chat. Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. So he had unique dialogue by looking at these plants. Shadow Snake says, fair warning, red are for Renegade and blue are for Paragon. You might not want to do all of the Renegade ones, in my opinion. All right, so we've got uh, divided opinion there in the chat. All right, so there's the cars, and we talked to everyone here. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's So what fun. we haven't and found you can install it on an Omni tool. is the fish. And we can go buy one. We can go buy one at, let's see, let's take a look at our, our journal here. Either tell Kargesh the truth or purchase a fake fish from Delia Sansassi's gift shop. All right, <laughs> let's go get a fake fish from the gift shop. Sansassi. Wait, didn't we already buy one? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That's gonna happen every time now. No, oh, we already bought one. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for displaying your personal... Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. All right, well, I can't buy a new one because I purchased everything from that then? terminal. What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with the Citadel. Besides, it'll be dead in a couple. What do you want? Let's give him the fish. I overheard you talking about the fish on the Presidium. What, you mean there actually are some? Sure, I just got one. I have it with me now. I'll pay you for it. What, you don't think I'm hungry? I went all the way up to the Presidium for this. Why should I give it to a random Krogan? I'll pay you a lot for it. Oh, all right. It's obvious you really want it. Here you go. Aren't you saving that money for a new gun? Who cares? They wouldn't let me use it here anyway. Thank you, human. Many Krogan must have dreamed of this day, but I get to be the first. <laughs> it's just a damn fish. Guns are better than fish. <laughs> I got Renegade and a thousand credits. All right, I don't know if it was worth it, but. I want to go home and eat it. I thought you were going to stand here admiring it all damn day. Poor guy. At least he's happy. I made his day. I'm Commander Can Shepard, I buy another one? This is my favorite store Aww. on the Citadel. I can't buy another one. Doggone it. 
All right, so we explored everything we can from here. Let's take the shuttle, see what else we can get into. Uh, we did 28, we did 26. That's it. Altmaster says, just remember, Ox, you can choose any interrupts, Para or Renegon. However, remember to read the room for what you believe is the best choice of action. Gotcha. Let's try the level 27 dock. That's where we were, right? Yeah, that's right out here. Okay, I think we've done this everything. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. Okay, let's go check out our new stuff. Captain's cabin. Private terminal, Medal of Honor trophy. Space hamster! Where's my space hamster? Did he just walk out and go squeak? Yeah, that's the space hamster. We got fish in here. Feed fish. Oh, I still have fish. Can you overfeed the fish? I know in real life, if you've got fish, you can overfeed them. Armor locker. Casual appearance. We had this on before, and <laughs> you guys didn't like that. Armor. And you don't like the helmet, so I'll take off the helmet. Oh, look, we got all these visors now. Yeah, no helmet. Health by five. Breather. Shield by five. Power damage by five. Weapon damage by five. Reduces recharge time by five. It looks goofy, but I like the effect. And there's the Aegis Vest that I purchased. Increases health by five. Let's use it. Offhand ammo pack increases spare ammo capacity by 10. Cool. Greaves. Then there's the life support webbing. Increases health by 10. Sweet. All right. Material one, this is just cosmetics. Gondro Dim says, Ox the Horse Puncher and Space Cow Murderer. Please tell me you didn't uh, buy fish to kill them now. No, 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 no. I'm going to feed the fish as, as often as I can. I've still got the fish. I don't want them to die. Maybe I can only, only buy new fish if I do let them to die. And there's the sound mixer. Terry Williams says, The hamster's name is Boo. Miniature giant space hamster. All right, now i got to get to the toilets. I got something cool to show you if I can get to the toy toilets. That's going to be in the cruise quarters, right? We've got a couple of quests to turn in. Women's restroom. Gold Shepherd, toilets. The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. This is a mod by our very own Pyro. Remember I said I saved all that money from uh, Mass Effect 1 just so that I could spend it on a gold toilet? Well, there you go. Thanks to Pyro, I now have gold toilets. Look at that. Oh, uh, man, we can urinate and defecate as royalty on the Normandy 2. We got our gold toilets. Manny White says there's some para slash renegade that change if you want. All right, thank you, Mana. And then Brett Buss says you have to feed the fish after every mission. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Pyro says, just so you know, I updated the mod and added golden showers. Uh, 
I don't think I want a golden shoe. Pyro! <laughs> I think I'll skip on the golden shower. Thank you, though. But man, look at that. I got my gold toilets. That's all I wanted. I'll skip out on the golden showers. <laughs> Zane the Insane says, Ox, if you're going to go feed the fishies, well, didn't Shep already do that, you know, figuratively? Well, he was fed to the fishes. He didn't necessarily feed the fishes. Salarian Scientist says, how the heck did you do that? And Gontaro Dim says, oh my god, there are actual gold toilets. Pyro released a mod for Mass Effect Legendary that I got on the Nexus, I believe it was, where you can download it and install it into your own game. And you, like Oxhorn, can have gold toilets in Mass Effect 2, thanks to Pyro. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Pyro. All right, let's see if we can find... Uh, Oh, they're not going to be in here. We've got to go to the kitchen, and we've got to go to med, med Bay. Port observation, men's restroom. Yeah, there's. it works in the men's restroom, too. Yeah, we got our gold toilets there. Uh, no golden showers, thankfully. Can we take a shower? I don't even know if we can take a shower. It's not going to be in port observation. Oh, there's Kasumi. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. Well, I bet you do. Shutter control. Oh. Ox, you skipped the one in your bedroom. Oh, is there a toilet in my bed bedroom? Hey, we can lick her up. This one's blue. Probably not going to knock us on our feet. Oh, yeah. Let's take the blue. Down it goes. Let's try the red. Let's drink the red. Talk to her again, Oxhorn, says Master Talon. All right, I'm kind of drunk now. Whoa. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. Well, I'm about to give him some supplies. Ethan H says, if you're conflicted on where to go next, remember the game gently nudged you to get Morden first in the last episode when talking to Miranda. Yeah, all right, so we'll go for Morden. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Okay. Painting. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. Ah, uh, a thief's romance. Many White says, if you wait, not want. Renegade, wait, Paragon. Got you, thank you. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Well, I'm glad you're proud of yourself. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. All right, so she's a thief with uh, good morals and ethics. Okay, I can respect that. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels. 
the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Cool. All right, so... Access to life support is restricted. Medical lab, here we go. Hey, I got you some brandy. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now? You and me. Yeah, more bows. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same. Enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. To the people we care for. May we never take them for granted. There we go. Hey, Metagel capacity. Cool. I'm still drunk. <laughs> so I just, I've been doing nothing but drinking. Okay. Oh, she's passed out. Look at her. She's like, alright, too much brandy. I'm gonna conk out. All right, now we got to give uh, the ingredients to the chef. And he's right over here, isn't he? Mess Sergeant Gardner. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. You're welcome. Chad is telling me that I missed more dialogue with her and I missed more toasts. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Uh, Caleb is saying that I missed dialogue about where she talks about Joker. Ah, oh, crap. Doggone it. I don't suppose I'm, I'm gonna be able to load a save, will I? Auto save on the Normandy. Five hours and 19 minutes. Five hours and nine minutes. All right, let's see if we can get that dialogue. We've already got our hard save that we can reload just in case. Crew deck. Yeah, all I did down here is take a look at the restroom. Okay, let's really quickly go get the dialogue from... Uh, the starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Okay. All right, sorry, chat. I'm going to make it up to you. 
How may I, I have help? a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always I won't make the same mistake Let's again. Drink. Why don't we open this you bottle? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the <laughs> I thought Alenko's <laughs> Oh Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. With your service record, you could have Maybe gotten... it's less about... As a military, often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. You're right, I missed your lonely. By the way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff. Joker will always have Rolex syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Oh, she's here for Joker. How sweet. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or hell. Maybe it's you, <laughs> Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. <laughs> Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? All right, so this unlocked two more toasts. A toast to us, a toast to Joker. Let's toast to Joker, we all love Joker. To the ornery bastard who flies this ship. The best fighter jockey to ever take to the skies. Yeah! And there we go. I got it. Thank you, chat. Let's turn in the spices again. Commander. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. All right, we did it. Now, uh, I suppose it's about time we start a mission, huh? Commander, what can I do for you? I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Nothing else has changed. Let's go do a mission. Oh wait, I, I should probably get what's her name to feed the fish. Uh... Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help. How do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and oh, be there. Oh, and we're back here. <laughs> what did I say last time? I said I would catch you. I could say that I'll drop you. Chat chastised me saying that I missed out on an opportunity by not saying I'd embrace you. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Whoa! Anything else you'd like to talk about? Well, I didn't find an option to get her to feed the fish, so... I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Brandon Belfed says, so combat, or are we just getting drunk today? Cheers, Ox. All right, all right, all right. First, let's figure out where we're, we want to go. We could do Kasumi's, but uh, everyone is telling me to get 
Morden Solis, the professor. Ask Aria about Morden. Talk to Aria at Afterlife for information about Morden Solis. What's Afterlife? Caleb says, talk to Kelly after every recruitment. She talks about every companion. Thank you, I will. Weird Beard says, companions, can we talk updates every mission? Oh, does it? Weird Beard. Okay, thank you for that. Ask, uh, go to the afterlife. It's a bar. Is that, is, it's a club. You gotta go to. Boltzmann helped Asumi. Oh, here we go. Omega. Okay, lots to do here. We can explore the Normandy crash site. Uh, Now, Omega has Recruit Archangel, Recruit Professor, and Recruit the Veteran. Three different recruits at Omega? Holy cow. Ooh. Built in the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time there ever was one. Population 7.8 million. Kasumi now. Loyalty normal. She's got Shadow Strike Overlord, Overload and Flashbang Grenade. Heavy Pistols Submachine Guns. Heavy Pistols Shotguns. Submachine Guns Heavy Pistols. Alright, so I already have a shotgun. So we can add Miranda, heavy pistols and submachine guns. But these are both heavy pistols, submachine guns. So maybe for variety, we should have him because of the shotgun. projector That's the new one that we got Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to Oh, Hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. 
now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. Okay. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. We've got a new codex. Planets and locations. Omega. Freedom's Progress Colony was once... Originally an asteroid rich in element zero, Omega was briefly mined by the Protheans, who eventually abandoned it due to its thick, impenetrable crust. Thousands of years later, nature did what even the Protheans could not. A collision with another asteroid broke Omega in half, exposing its trove of element zero for easy mining. A rush ensued as corporations and private individuals tried to strike it rich on Omega, and thieves and outlaws followed in their wake. As space became tight, construction of processing facilities extended vertically from the asteroid, creating Omega's jellyfish-like silhouette. To prevent future collisions, the station is ringed with enormous mass effect field generators that redirect incoming debris. Today, Omega is a major hub of narcotics, weapons, and ESO trafficking, without even a pretense of civilian government or military control. Only mercenary groups have been able to instill a limited order. The most ruthless is an Asari syndicate run by the notorious Arya Talok. Brandon Belfed says, Ox, didn't mean that as a hurry up. I'm off today and got no problem getting drunk with you and Shepard. Lol. Cheers, Ox. Cheers, my friend. No worries. Uh, this was next in line anyway. Okay, uh... Can I turn that visor off? It's bothering me. Okay, Arya Taloak, ruler of Omega, wants all important new arrivals to pay their respects to her at Afterlife. She may be a valuable source of information. Jackass. Uzaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Oh, yeah, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business. 
But your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. <laughs> I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Oh, that visor is so ugly. Okay, well, we got a new quest out of that. Travel to Zoria. And a new codex entry. Planet Zoria. Bring firearms and antihistamines, is what veteran guides say about this lush garden world. First colonized in 2160, Zoria's temperate and tropical zones are overrun with plants and fungi of all kinds. As a result, the air in most habitable areas is choked with pollen and spores that range from benign to deadly. The scattered colonies across the planet have resorted to clear cutting and slash and burn farming to create habitable zones. And the more rural areas where the spores are thickest are populated only by Vorcha. Lax ecological laws allow mining and manufacturing industries to flourish and pollute cheaply as the planet's carrying capacity far outstrips the current size of its colonies. Zoria is also home to the Blue Suns Mercenary Company, who dominate the colony's security forces. The Suns enjoy nearly unlimited influence with local politicians and judges, ensuring no other private military contractors can compete with them economically. Nearly every colony has a Suns recruiting station, if not a training camp, though this has hardly made the planet any safer. Pir piracy, drugs, and vice, and political violence are commonplace. Well, there's the afterlife. Oh, oh, this is so cool. Very dystopian. Solar electronics, Apex Omni tools. I suppose we should go right for it. Omega, what a pisshole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. I like how they have little, uh, random conversation points with our crew. Von Rex says, for whatever reason, you cannot hide the helmet in Mass Effect 2, unless you use a mod on the Nexus. Hide helmet is in Mass Effect 1 and 3. Okay. Deceptive Wave says, Hey Ox, found a golden toilet mod on Nexus, lol. Seems like your credit saving in Mass Effect 1 went to good use. Thank you, Deceptive Wave. I actually installed it, and the author of that mod, Pyro, is here in the chat. I showed it off just a Come bit ago. On, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ugh. Annoyed. If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. Oh, so we don't have to wait in line? Let ten people in while I've been standing here. Unbearable. They were the ideas. You've let ten people in while I've been standing here. Unbearable. They were the ideas. Let's go 
clockwise. Is it just me or are you getting better looking? I'm busy. Alright, so there's a door down there. Two lower level. Staircase up there. Everyone wants some of this. Bartender. It's gonna feel like this at every bartender. We just keep drinking till we pass out. <laughs> I wonder if there are different uh, consequences depending on where you pass out in the game. The Greyhound said, some wise guy once said, bring me the hair of the dog that bit me so I can clone it and have it a little more. Why not? We'll have a little more. Wow, do we just keep going? All right, I think that's enough even for Shepard. Okay, let's go upstairs. Aria. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Which is? Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? Brandon Dunn says, howdy, Ox. Hope your day is going well. Welcome to Omega. It's basically the polar opposite of the Citadel and one of my favorite places in Mass Effect. Have fun. Thank you very much, I plan to. Man of Warp says, Arya is Trinity from the Matrix, so she is the Alpha, the Omega, and the Trinity. Is that why I recognize the voice? Okay, love it. Well, let's start with Archangel. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. 
Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. Shadow Snake 89 says she's like Red Dead Redemption 2's Angelo Bronte, only with no accent and a few other assets. There is a passing resemblance. I'm looking for Morden Souls. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? He used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, Take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tools. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Dragon Fan says Omega is her kingdom and afterlife her castle. Certainly the vibe I got. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Okay, so we need to take a shuttle to find Morden, but it sounds like this Archangel guy is close by. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? 
How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we've dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Philip G became a Silver Ox. Thank you, Philip G. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. I didn't miss it! Okay, go to the transit hub. And we got seven paragons. Is that it? Well, the afterlife is deceptively small, if that's it. So we've got oh, Arya up there. Oh, here we go. Chains and change the punk says, "I think you'll have fun with this mission, Ox. Arch Archangel's probably the best character in the game. Awesome. Should I keep exploring the afterlife? Because this appears to keep going deeper." Oh, this is huge. And the only one around is that screeching prophet and a few forges scratching for food. Suddenly, a shot. Red hot All right, well, because I'm... Uh, because I've only got about an hour and 20 minutes left, we'll explore the afterlife when I get back with Archangel. I've already explored all of the Citadel and the Normandy. That's a lot of exploration for one broadcast. Let's try and spice things up a bit by actually working Come on, on a class. let me in. Uh, all right, so what did he say? We need Are to go to transport. Oh. Transport, and then when we come back, we gotta go get Morden anyway. So we'll be back. Let's do a quick save. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Give me some time. Sure. You ready now? Ready when you are. Get in. Okay, well, if I'm gonna try to get this guy to join my crew. Oh, that's right, I got this guy now. Concussive shot, disruptor ammo, infernal grenade, assault rifles, and sniper rifles. I need a sniper.
Requires concussive shot rank two. time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with it for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Okay. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Right. We're gonna piss off all these mercs and we're gonna have to fight our way out. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Uh, Dong Choi says, these are what you can find in this mission. And then a bunch of, uh, credits, weapons, cool stuff. Thank you, Dong Choi. All right, so I need to do some sabotage while I'm behind enemy lines. Before I go for Archangel, that's going to make getting out a lot easier. Okay, well, let's walk around and see if there's anything that we can sabotage before we head up the stairs to go find Archangel. But perhaps we're gonna see all of that stuff on our way out anyway. Yeah, this is a dead end. All right.
the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the Freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Okay, before I talk to him, I'm gonna see if there's anything I can disable. Message to Tarak. Tarak, I've spoken to Garm, and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations would be ready to move on Aria without the assistance of the other two. Sheriff! So they're planning to move on Aria. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the Freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. Codex updated. Immediately following the first brainchild of Asari Commando Jonas Sedaris, Eclipse was incorporated as a proactive security company. Influenced by Asari and Salarian military doctrine, Eclipse specializes in sabotage, assassination, and personal and organizational security. Although Citadel governments regard the corporation with suspicion, it's embraced in the Skillion Verge and Terminus systems. Early on, Sedaris sought government contracts to establish market share against the better established Blue Suns. Her agency scored a galactic PR coup by retaking several space stations captured by the Anher People's Liberation Army and neutralizing its leaders. Victory Eclipse's marketing department never ceases trumpeting. Based on Omega Station, Eclipse controls nearly 20% of the asteroid's real estate. Its services range from mech repair to open warfare, although assassination is reserved for meeting wider, longer-term company goals. For instance, preemptive strikes against pirates rather than murdering spouses for insurance money. Despite numerous reports, Eclipse denies sabotaging or kidnapping business rivals. Of course they would. Right. That appears to be it for here. So out we go. Two doors. Ah, here we go. Element zero. Find matching code segments. Locate and select the code that matches the code. What? Uh. 
Locate and select the code that matches the code displayed at the top left corner of the screen. Avoid red codes. Find all matches before time runs out to hack through security. Okay. So this is the code I'm looking for. Okay, that's it. Well, what do I do to push it up? Firewalls are not connected. So I'm trying, I'm, I left clicked, I right clicked, I pressed up on the number pad. I'm not sure what I, what the input is to move the code up. So there's the code. Like that's the code, like what do I? Spacebar? Spacebar says chat, all right. Oh, that's right, I can't go over the red ones. Right. Oh, I did it wrong. No, I got it. 4,000 credits. Okay, so a brand new mini game. That was annoying. Bypass friend or foe ID. Oh, God. Circuit locked. Connecting to matching pins to bypass security. Arrow keys and spacebar. No mouse, says Christopher Lowe. Okay. wrong there. I've, I made the connections. Oh, and that one was time. I can't do it again. Alan White says, stay away from those crooked mercs that look like drunkards and they act like jerks. If you would take my sound advice, snipe them from at least 10 feet. Thank you, Ian. A little anti-elf anthem there. Rockland F says, unpopular opinion, hate this minigame. If you install a mod to bypass, I would simply be happy for you, lol. I would probably even respect you more. Okay, thank you, Rockland. Pyro says, here you just click with mouse. Yeah, I, I did, like. I mean, I found the matches, but then they disappeared after I found them. Place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. Josh Bundon says you can talk to each leader and get codex entries, but you can sabotage mechs and a gunship. Okay, thank you, Josh. I'll try to find them. And then Josh says, Ox, it's your interact key. All right, I'll try to get better. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. Why are the blood pack on Omega? 
We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. Codex updated. Immediately fought the reclusive type. Originally a small Terminus Systems Vorcha gang, the Blood Pack was transformed into a legion by visionary Krogan battlemaster Gunnar Rang. Exiled for striking a female in anger, Rang obsessed over reclaiming his lost status. Leading the Vorcha Pack as a pirate crew, Rang cultivated recruits and infamy for a decade before incorporating his fighters as a security company across the Skillian Verge. His notoriety ensured his initial public offering for investors made him rich beyond most Krogan's dreams. Rang returned triumphantly to his clan, rallying elders, Krogan hordes, and their firepower and biotic support toward professional violence in the Terminus systems. Banned from Citadel space, the Blood Pack bribes its way through spaceports into armed conflicts across the galaxy. Priding themselves for accepting otherwise untouchable contracts, the Blood Pack rejects bodyguarding and security in favor of cases requiring minimal oversight and maximal violence. Maximal? Doesn't he mean maximum? Ken uh, Grafton says, Ox, I discovered your channel through your Fallout New Vegas series and have been devouring your content. Fantastic work, and now Mass Effect. Keep it up, thank you, my friend. I plan to. Leave us alone. Go away, free dancer. What? Well, I missed out on that because I exited out to quick save before actually attempting it, and it won't let me try it again. I'm just learning everything the hard way today. Well, at least I got that door. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. Why haven't you talked to him? Because I'm not stupid. This assault is damn dangerous. There he is. That's one guy. That's hilarious. All right, uh, I'll quick save now. Kafka?
Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Salky? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Pyro says that I missed a conversation. Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. All right, Chad is telling me I missed something, so I'm going to try and exit out of this conversation. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> you feel it. Uh, Got to get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. All right. So this is a point of no return, and yet how was I supposed to know that? You're working too hard. <laughs> Archangel doesn't have much time left. What the hell are we waiting for? I can't do anything. This is all scripted, cinematic crap. Come on. We'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Incoming. Come on! Okay. Now that I actually have control of my character, I can reload my quick save. Oh, no, 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 no. Load quick save. Okay, chat was absolutely freaking out that I didn't go down this utility door first. So here we are. Utility door. Mr. Wilson says, sorry for earlier super chat, didn't realize I was seven minutes behind on that earlier topic. Renegade interrupts aren't inherently evil, sometimes just efficient, like in a moment. Like the one that we just did where we stabbed that guy in the back. All right, I'll try that. What do you want, Freelancer? I don't want excuses! Tell Kafka to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge! And somebody get me those damn blueprints! Now! Get this Freelancer out of here! I don't have time for this shit! What's your problem? You! Get, get this scum out of my face! Tarek! What seed in your ass? Zaid? You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? It's Archangel. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta. Talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. Glad I but brought him along. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? 
Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. All right. Codex upgrade. Update. Immediately founded by notorious Batarian slaver Solum Dalsera, the Blue Suns began as a Skillian Verge protection racket, providing genuine protection from slavers and pirates. Eventually captured by the Systems Alliance Navy, Dalsera beat almost two dozen charges to be convicted on a single count of conspiracy. The slaver benefited from the tutelage of cellmate and brilliant con artist Bernard Legit's Ledger. Upon release five years later, Dalsera incorporated Blue Suns as a legal security agency. Today, the Blue Suns boast a galaxy-wide force of Batarians, Turians, Humans, and Krogan. Each deployment is backed by a logistics corps selling everything from heavy weapons to shaving cream. Despite claims that Blue Suns sells its captives as slaves, no Blue Suns employee has ever been convicted on such charges. Many Blue Suns members sport the company logo in tattoo form, removed during assignments and reapplied at mission end. Ethan H. says there is a show objective button that would help you here. I don't know what it is, though, on PC. I'll tell you what advances it'll tell you what advances the mission. All right, I'll try to find it. Josh Bunton says, when it comes to the other hacking game, you can hover over the circles without clicking on them to reveal the matching symbols before clicking on them. Awesome, thank you, Josh. There's no map of this place. I just tried to open a map and I can't. All right, well, let's see if we can sabotage anything else. He'll report to Kafka. Okay. Kafka? Must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Salki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. 
We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Here we go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Just tased him, right? Archangel doesn't have much time left. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Enemies in front! Now to get back in the swing of things with combat, let's run around here see if we can find any loot. That's Archangel above us. Can we access any of these doors? <laughs> doors have been sealed by authority of the base commander, Arthur Authorization Archangel. It looks like we just need to go up. All right, so we zapped the guy, the mechanic who was in charge of the ship. So that means the ship should not come to their aid. We missed the hack on the mech, and we couldn't do that again. So there will be a mech that comes to their aid. And that's one of the reasons why I'm... What's that? A boost mod? Oh. This should come in handy. We've got a wall safe. Matt of Warp says, save your heavy weapons ammo for a bit later. You'll need it. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I didn't switch to my arc projector. Because I, I know at least I'm going to have one mech to deal with later. So I'm just going to use my shotgun. And my pistols for now. Archangel? How does he know that we're not freelancers? Shepard. What? I thought you were dead. Yes! It's my boy, Garrus! Oh my god, what a story arc! Shepard dies, two years go by, he becomes a vigilante taking down bad guys? That's hilarious! That's why he didn't shoot as soon as he saw us! Oh my... <laughs> I should have been able to predict this! Oh my god, I should have totally been able to predict this! 
The White Wolf says everyone's favorite Turian is back. That's... <laughs> Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. <laughs> I'm so happy. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. He knew uh -huh. we were coming, that's if so great. If I wanted great. to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. I had to loot, Garrus. You know how this works. Rockland F says your reaction is clip-worthy. Thank you, Rockland. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little Merc blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. <laughs> hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. Oh. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Just like old times, Let's time, give these Garrett. bastards everything we can. Come on! 
I was just there! All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Doc, got it. Online. Damn it. They're sending out the heavy mix. Deploying tech overload. I charged out of the window! That was so great! I had the wrong gun equipped. I should have had my shotgun equipped for that. Change the, change the Punk says, like I said, Archangel is the best character. I mean, you're right. I can't argue with you, my friend. That was an epic reveal. Okay, let's go back up and loot up. Shepard, I need you up here. I'm coming, Garris! Calm down! I gotta loot! This is how it works! You know this! You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. That was... wasn't that a quest we did? Part, part of you remembers that conversation or that story from something. Man of Warb says, fun fact, if you were playing a sniper and you headshotted a heavy mech, it explodes like a mini dude. Really? Part of me wishes I had done a sniper build. Still, that charge for Vanguard is awesome. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Got it. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good oh, luck. Wait. I, sh I should have left a squad mate. I bet you I could have left a squad mate. The VM5... The M15 Vindicator Battle Rifle acquired. The following squad members are now able to use this weapon, Zayed. How do I change his weapon? Squad mate with it, I didn't realize.
Uh, Mr. Wilson says, I'm so glad no one spoiled the reveal for you. You've assembled a wonderful chat ox. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. It's all thanks to the mods. John M says, caught an ox stream. Enjoy Mass Effect 2. It's my favorite. Thank you, my friend. Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. I gotta find the large shutters. How do we get over? to get back over the wall. Alright, so the problem is that the same button used to hide behind a barrier is the same button used to jump over it, so it delays me. Jade the Jinx says, oh no, the shutter barriers are the worst. Yeah, these are really awful. Awesome. Can't talk. Target over. Now I gotta jump over all these stupid barriers. Yeah, 
ahead. Time to die. I used Unity, but not at the right time. Bretbus says it may be Mass Effect 3, but I think you can double tap the button uh, while sprinting to jump over them without going into cover. I'll try. Hotkey to number three, but every time I tried to tip tag it. William says charge more often, it recharges your barriers. Alright, we'll try. charging but that just put me right out in the middle of them
Whoops, and now I'm down right at the beginning. Carlton says, uh, best YouTuber and always a legend. Thank you, my friend. to desktop are you kidding me wait no it just minimized it what was that oh my god heads up Try again. Come in. 
pinned down. Dead or not, I can't tell! So, I mean, I got a charge to get up close to him, but two or three hits from him and I'm dead. So for Garm, I'm not going to get up close to him because he just kills me in one or two shots. Okay. Finally. They stopped. Come find me. Hmm. Tough bastards, but I've seen worse. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Really, you don't say? You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang to help him. Still couldn't take him out. 
I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on it. Heads up! Damn it! Thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure it was They're all floating through. Watch your back, Shepard. Right, I'm missing a lot of super chats. Tony, or I'm sorry, Matt says, Ox, my friend, Shepard has friends too. Use their powers, especially Miranda. They help you a ton. I have them set to automatically use their powers. So I, I mean, I, I suppose I could, but they're already using them. Shan Zaholic says, you're doing great, Ox. Vanguard is a difficult class to master, especially in Mass Effect 2's early game, but with the right upgrades, the rewards are so great. Thank you, Shnazaholic. Zach says, the good news is that this is one of the harder missions in the game, especially at this level. It will be downhill for a while after this. Cool. Thank you, Zach. Frog, Ra Frog Raider says, Vanguard is high risk, high reward. Takes some getting used to, but you'll get used to it. Thank you, Frog Raider. Josh Bunton says the vi best, uh, the greatest video game reaction reveal ever. Thank you, Josh. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. Watch your back, Shepard. Take it. Anyone else see you come on in? So charging reloads my shield, but I just don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, I'm going to do better if I just sit here. Up Not completely. I made sure of that. We'll put them down. It works a little better when the enemy's not a Krogan. Oh, 
Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. The White Wolf says that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, I think I left many marks. Mission complete. Okay, mission summary, extracted Archangel, Vindicator Battle Rifle. So I got a Vindicator Battle Rifle, submachine gun damage, tech damage, level up. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? Whoa. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Mm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Yes! We got Garrus back! Oh, I'm taking him with me. Plus four to Paragon. Jeez, that was insane. Oh my god, is it gonna be like that the entire game? Holy hell. Oh. Well, let's go talk with the crew, I guess. Wait, does Eddie have anything to say? What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL. In addition, this allows lag-free communication even when you operate... That's all for now. All right, so out, nothing Shepard. though. Tech lab. A scientist is required to use the technical scientist. laboratory. Jacob! Commander, can I help you with something? Uh... How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? Okay, so that's not new. What do you think of the state of the crew? 
We don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Okay, I don't think we'll he's talk got... later. I don't think he's Commander. got anything new to say. Let's see if we can find Garrus. He said he would be at the forward batteries, right? Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite with that pole up his ass. <laughs> what do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. That's it for now. See you, Commander. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that, but I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Oh! You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Looks like that's it. I better go. Okay. Maybe. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Uh, Cer Cerberus Command Request. From Cerberus Command, reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Lorek, a nearby planet in the Fadar system. Scan the planet for a base where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter. Exact the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have collected. This is a very delicate matter, Shepard. We trust in your discretion. Glad I didn't sign up from John Whitson. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you at the afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about all the body, uh, when I heard about the body count and how I could have been part of it. I'll make the most of what you did for me, John Whitson. All right. Cool. That's where we were. Uh. All right, where are we gonna find Garrus? He said forward battery. Let's take the elevator. Uh, the White Wolf says start a new drinking game next stream. Every time Garrus says he'll be calibrating something, take a drink. Let's see how long we can last. I like that drinking game. Julian Z says, Ox, to find out if they have anything new, you have to hit, I want to talk about you option with the crew. Oh. And they will say later on something new. Oh, okay. So I, I did that wrong. All right. So it's, I got to talk. I want to talk with you. All right. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> Haggis in the right hands, it tastes like mighty fine ass. Garrus is on deck three, says the chat. Okay. Zaid. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Garbage compactor. Wow, that's how we do it. We just toss it out to space. Cool, I wonder if we're going to be using that later. Blood pack helmet. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizark into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Well, don't mess with him. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. <laughs> A sentimental guy. I like it. Surveillance. Oh. We can spy on sections of the ship. Cool. Okay, so level three. for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. That's Miranda, we should probably talk to her. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. 
I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how You I are was... who you are, Marie. That's easy. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because You've told of me it. a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> Interesting. Any well, time, that Commander. That opened up a lot of uh, information about her, but we didn't really get to hear much about uh, Garrus from her. And uh, well, I'm having a really hard time finding Garrus, but I'm also completely out of time. So let's go feed the fish, and then I'm going to log off. Are they dead? No. Oh, I don't have to feed them right now. Cool. Okay. Well, let's do a hard save. Oh, we've got a codex. Hold on. Ships and vehicles. What? All right, well, I, I guess it wasn't marked. Or maybe it was this one. Yeah, it's got to be the A61 Mantis gunship. The workhorse of mercenary bands throughout the galaxy, the Mantis is a two-man vectored thrust aircraft that excels in close air support roles. Highly modular in construction, the Mantis can be reconfigured as a low-altitude gunship, a fighter, a high-altitude bomber, or even a single-stage-to-orbit space plane that can engage enemy craft around a planet or space station. The only role that the Mantis cannot perform is that of a true deep space uh, fighter, as it has no faster-than-light drive. First rolled off the assembly lines in 2170, the Mantis remains in service in dozens of armies across the galaxy. It is most commonly used as air support in pitched ground battles, in a configuration that sports two pods for Inferno PKRs, precision kill rockets, and a chin-mounted M350 mass accelerator cannon. Its kinetic barriers, thermal decoy system, and electro, uh, electronic countermeasure suite make the Mantis far less vulnerable to surface-to-air attacks than previous generations of aircraft. Like modern planes, the Mantis uses an element zero core to ease the load of the engines with a mass effect field, allowing it to take off vertically or hover in place using minimal fuel. 
This also gives it far greater range and speed than the helicopters and jump jet aircraft uh, that once filled its niche. A Mantis can take off from Baton Rouge, reach Moscow in a few hours, fly a ground attack mission, and return home before having to refuel. All right. Game saved. The White Wolf says, by the way, Ox, your romance options have increased, but in order to get an achievement, you have to let your current love go. The best is yet to come. Well, do we want an achievement that badly? We'll see. Man of Warp says, so Miranda wasn't conceived in the womb of a loving mother. She's a synth. It's got to be a synth. All right, folks, thanks for watching today's episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Mass Effect 2. We'll try to find Garrus on board the ship in our next episode and then find out which operative we're going to be going for next time. I hope you'll tune in. For the rest of this week, we've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey on Wednesday. We'll continue with um, Observer for Scotch and Smoke Rings on Thursday night, then Days Gone on Friday for our morning stream. Then over the weekend, of course, we will have another Fallout 3 Metro episode. It's going to be fun. We're going to be going to Chevy Chase as well as a few other places like Farragut uh, and uh, Tenley Town, Farragut West and Tenley Town and Friendship Station. It's going to be a blast. I hope to see you there. Thanks again for coming this Monday uh, morning and afternoon, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Bye-bye now. See you soon.